We stay in Langholm for this next loft visit. This is Rolston Graham, top federation flyer. Good afternoon, Rolston. Good afternoon, Keith. Welcome to Langham. How long have you been in the sport? Um, 35 years. Yeah, what's the circumstances you're starting up? Uh, I had pigeons when I was at the school, and uh, well, when I was 21, uh, I broke my nose and I had a few accidents playing rugby. So I decided to get a safer sport, and so I started keeping <laughs> pigeons. Yeah, um, what's one or two of your best performances? Uh, Channel-wise, uh, my best performance would be 10th Open Rains. And in the Federation, well, I've been uh, Solway, Solway Federation champion for the past six years. Fantastic. How many Federation winners have you had? Uh, six, seven, eight a year. That's incredible yeah. performance, yeah. What sort of distance do you start racing, short or long? Uh, I like every race. Yeah, you got racing every Saturday? Every Saturday. Doesn't matter where it's from. This is a nice cock Rolston, what's this? This is a, a blue St. Jean cock that uh, I bought from Davy Page in Pickering. Uh, he's had into teens of prizes. He's won the club four times and he's topped the Federation three times. Burn it, Pigeon. What system has he raced on? He's a widowed all the time. Yeah. He didn't, didn't do anything as a baby. But uh, from a yearling onwards, he's been very consistent. Is he bred any good pigeons? He's bred his winners as well, yes. Mm -hmm. Fabulous looking pigeon, he? absolutely wonderful. What system you race your old birds on in Ralston? Uh, widowed. Uh, I race the cocks on Widowhood uh, in these two lofts down here, and I race hens on Widowhood up, up the top lofts. Yeah. Do all the cocks and hens go to the same race? Yes, I send them every week. I go every week. Yeah. When do you pair up? Uh, usually 14th, 15th of February, around about that time. Yeah, when you say cocks and it, it's actually with a not a roundabout system? No, not a roundabout. No, the hens don't race as pair to the cocks, and the cocks don't race as pair to the hens. Oh, I see, yeah. Do you show the cocks and on a Friday night? Always. And how long do they get the, their mates for on their return? Uh, between an hour to two hours. Yeah. Depending what, on the race. What do you feed? Uh, I'm on a three phase system. I break down for four feeds, I, break, I give protein for four feeds, and then I give carbohydrate for four feeds. I see. How about training them? Training them before the first race, after that, they don't get trained. And, and that's you race the card, do they? They go right through the whole race Right through the whole card, yes. These are Ralston's two Widowed Lofts, which are very smart. And all the trapping is through Sputnik traps. This is seen inside one of Ralston's Widowood sections. As it's still early in the season, the birds are still paired up. In actual fact, Jenny took those babies away this morning. And these pigeons are soon be on the Widowood. This is my a blue Herbert cock. Uh, it was a gift from uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Lynn from Dumfries. I timed this cock uh, three times from 500 miles last year. Beautiful pigeon. <laughs> what position did he win? Uh, he was 33rd from the first Sartilly, 176th from Rands, and 43rd from the last Sartilly. Brilliant performance. Was it in the National? That's in the National, yes. Mm. They're open positions. It's fantastic. And he's on the widow, was he? Yes, flew away the hood. In this section, most of the pigeons in here have taken prizes. And there's several First Federation winners in here. This is a uh, Amelie Cork. Uh, Bread down from pigeons I got from Derek, uh, Van He, and he, he took the federation from Worcester as, as a yearling. Yeah, how far is Worcester? 200 miles. It says a sprinter. Widowhood cock again, Ralston? Yes, Widowhood again. Well, I'm hoping he's more as a sprinter, I'm hoping he'll do 500. 
these two lofts, which were in a field at the top of the garden, house all the young birds and widowed hens. This is the fantastic view from Rolston's young bird loft. The Scottish countryside. How many babies you breed each season in Rolston? Uh, about 80 to raise for myself. Yeah. yeah. And how far do they go? Uh, about 200 mile. Yeah. yeah, about train them. They get trained up until the first race and then I don't train them after that. Now, do you breed like just one round from the Widowhood cocks and the rest from the stock birds? That's right, yeah. yeah. What do you think of the dark system? Uh, I've, uh, I've thought about it, but uh, I've never tried it. I'm thinking about it next year. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you pay your babies up for racing? No. If they want to pair up, they do, uh, they, they, they do but I don't um, rear early enough for them, really. No. Do you like young bird racing then? Oh, I love every race. Do you? <laughs> Short, long, young birds. You don't care? No, I don't care. No. This is Rolston's first round of young birds, the 1997 season, and all lofts have got grills on the floor. In 1996, Rolston won the first seven young bird races. Fantastic achievement. What firms of pigeons do you keep in Rolston? Um, I keep the Van Hees from, from Derrick and I've got Herberts, Suntjens, Van Winkles. Yeah. Uh, Janssen's, a Janssen base family mainly. Yeah. yeah. Where do they originate from? Uh, d mostly from Davy Page from Pickering. Yeah. How many stock birds do you keep? I've got nine pair. When are they paired up? They were paired up at the same time as the razors. Yeah, how about feeding Fe them? Uh, all birds get fed the same. So, what's that in a widowed mix? No, it's under on a breeding mix right up until this weekend, actually. Yeah. These are a few of stock birds, which he says he's very proud of. And so he should be, because they're magnificent. You've suffered with pigeon fancies long then, Rolston? Yes, I have done for ten years. Yeah. Uh, at the start I didn't know what it was, I thought it was my heart to start with. But once I got it sorted out and uh, I wear a cloak and a mask and a hat all the time, and uh, it's pretty well controlled in the medium range now. Yeah. How does it affect you? Uh, it doesn't affect me at all now. No. Because I'm wearing a mask all the time. So, at, as I say, I was off work six weeks when I first took it. Like. Yeah, was it bre breathlessness and yes, I, flu like sy symptoms? Very, was sweating and. Yeah. Uh, well, you didn't know what was wrong. No, it's terrible. <laughs> Frightening, mate. I've got it myself. Well, thanks very much for letting me see your pigeons today. I credit to you. Thank you very much for coming.